If you can't see what's in the back of the cupboard, the thing does not exist. Yes, it is a little extra. This just makes life so much easier. If you're a home baker and you're wondering what the best way is to keep your ingredients and your tools organized, you're in the right place. Today I'm gonna show you how I store my ingredients and my tools. I started as a home baker and I made my way into being a professional. However, when I'm just baking for myself, I still have a lot of my tools and ingredients here. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you exactly the best way to organize your ingredients and tools so that you have the most efficient, carefree, less stressed baking experience ever. Are you ready? Let's do this. And if you're new around here, hi, I'm Natalia Lima, founder and owner of Curious Cat Bakery, an all vegan bakery based out of Florida where I make everything that tastes just like the real deal, but without eggs and dairy and animal products. And if you're into vegan baking, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm here every week with new recipes, new tips, hacks on how you can get the best out of your bakes at home. I started out as a home baker and made my way into being a professional. So I know exactly what it's like to have all your things at home, all of this stuff that you keep piling up because you love baking and you have all of these tools, all of these ingredients that you're going to use for different recipes. The last thing you wanna do is put them all in a drawer or all in a cupboard and have to go looking for it every time you need it and have to take everything out and put it back in I'm having flashbacks just thinking about it. That's not the way to do it. So my first tip for organizing your ingredients is to use clear containers. Now all of your ingredients are going to come into little boxes or little packages. You keep them in those packages. Well, eventually they all kind of start looking the same. It's just not as easy to look at. It's also not as easy to store. Meanwhile, if you just get clear containers and that will not only give it a more uniform look, so if you have a shelf or something like that, you can display them. It will also allow you to see how much is left of that ingredient. In this video over here where I did my haul from Home Goods, Joann's and Target about things that you should not invest in, I actually didn't include these containers that I saw that I just thought made no sense. They were very cute. They were supposed to keep your sugar and your flour. But the first thing that I thought of when I saw that was I would never know how much flour is left in that container because you can't see inside. And that happens if you keep the flour in a bag too. You might have this much flour in there, but the way that the bag stands, you could have half the bag left. You would never know. And then it's harder for you to start a recipe or to know what you need to buy in order to do a recipe if you don't know how much you have left. So if you keep everything in clear containers, you're always gonna know how much of that ingredient you have left. You can plan accordingly. You can also just keep tabs on what you need to go shopping for. And it just looks nicer overall. Now, the second part of that is that once you put everything from those bags and those packages into your clear containers, you want to label those containers because let me tell you, flour, sugar, powdered sugar, they all kind of start looking the same and you don't want to have to smell and do a taste test every time you go look for an ingredient. So you want to have clear labels. You can print these out off the internet. You can buy them on Etsy. Do whatever you want. You can even just put a piece of electrical tape like I not so proudly have on some of mine because it really is just about having that label in there so you know what ingredient is in there. And if you're wondering what kind of containers to get, I like to have glass ones. I think they're more sturdy and more durable than the plastic ones. In my experience, the plastic ones, after a while, they start to crack and they start to look a little dingy. Meanwhile, the glass ones are much easier to clean. Once you go through the ingredients, you can just pop them in the dishwasher and they will come out as new. I will put my recommendation for what glass containers to buy in the description below. So if you want to, you can just click that link and buy them. Future you is not gonna remember what past you did. At least I never do. So I need to have everything labeled so that future Natalia knows what the hell is going on. Otherwise, she'll be completely lost and I'm pretty sure you will be too. Next thing is that you don't want to pile anything into a cupboard or a drawer. You want to have everything so you can clearly see it. If you can't see what's in the back of the cupboard, that thing does not exist, okay? You're gonna forget that you have it there. You're gonna buy more of it. You need to make sure everything is visible. Now, how do you do that with limited space? So what I like to use is this clear boxes. So I got mine off of Amazon and I will put the link in the description below and they work really well. I actually use them for my jams because I use a lot of jams for cakes and that kind of stuff. 
and that way I can get more height out of a shelf or if I try to pile all the cans on top of each other eventually they would get too tall and get a little wobbly and you definitely don't want glass jars of jam shattering onto the floor so this makes them more sturdy it makes them more organized and most importantly, because they're clear, I can see in there and I can see exactly what is in there. It's kind of like adding a drawer, but I can see through it and I can see what's inside. So highly recommend using that. Another option is using something like a spice rack where they have like the little steps that you can pile up the ingredients in different rows. And that way you still have the different heights. So you see what's in them. Meanwhile, if you put them all on the same level, the front ones you would see and the back ones you wouldn't so with having different levels you can see what's in each of those levels so you get to put more ingredients in less space now when it comes to organizing your tools in a cupboard if, if you have like i do a blender a steamer all of these different tools well one easy way to do it is just to put the tallest one in the back and then put the shorter ones in the front kind of like when you're taking a group photo right if you need even more than that i like adding these racks in here for two reasons one of them it gives you pretty much an extra shelf so now you can put things under it as well but also it gives you that height difference so now you can see what's on top and what's in the bottom clearly so you don't have to take anything out in order to get to the other guy take him out and then put the other back in it's all nicely lined up you just reach in and grab it and you're on your way next thing is grouping things by category and this applies for your ingredients and your tools so you see that in this drawer over here i keep my spatulas i keep my whisks i keep my measuring cups and i keep them all together so that i know that if i'm missing a whisk it's not anywhere else in the house it could be in the dishwasher or it could be in this drawer those are the only two options because i keep all of my whisks together here same thing with the spatulas they are all here these are my options i know where they are measuring cups same thing always keep the categories of things together that way you know where to find them same thing for ingredients so i have all of my flowers all of my solid ingredients in one area then in the other i have all of my spices that just makes it easier because that way if i'm looking for a spice i don't have to look in the entire pantry i have to look at this very small section then in this other section i have all of my milks so i have my almond milk i have my coconut milk i have my coconut cream this is where all of these guys are kept this is the category over here organizing things by category just make it easier so you don't have to scan the whole kitchen the whole area for something you can just find it in that specific section it's kind of like going to a grocery store right things are grouped by section all of the candy is in one aisle all of the bread in is in a different aisle otherwise you would have to look through the entire store to find different kinds of bread or to find different kinds of rice. If you're looking for a specific thing, you know you have to go to that section of the supermarket. Same thing goes for your kitchen. Organize it by category, just like a supermarket. And now we go even deeper in not just organizing by category, but doing it alphabetically within the category. Yes, it is a little extra. Who doesn't like a little extra? I do. So you see it in my drawer, I have all of these spices that I use for cooking and sometimes baking, but these are mostly for cooking. And I know that they're organized alphabetically. That way, if I'm looking for onion powder, I'm not looking through all of them. I just have to find one title and then I know, okay, it's either before or after that one. And I have a starting point. This just makes life so much easier there you go that's how i keep my tools and my ingredients organized at home i hope this helped you out if you're a home baker to keep your things more organized at home so that your baking time can be cut down and you can spend more time doing what you love instead of looking for things around the house before you get started do you have a favorite way to organize your ingredients or your tools by now you kind of got the gist that i love a good organizational hack so make sure you put it in the comments so i know what it is bonus points if you send me a picture on my dms on instagram you can follow me over here at curious cat bakery if you like this video make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys here tomorrow with a new video and until then stay curious